So one of the reasons, for instance, that let's say the realm of not just factual conspiracies, but whatever he thinks about conspiracy theories, one of the reasons that those kind of interest me is not necessarily whether or not they're true, whether there any, there's any kind of objective validity to them, because a lot of them are relatively easy to go through and pick apart, but why they're there to begin with, because it's another way of trying to explain things. So if you were going to take a kind of common thing, um, one of the things that tends to show up a lot in popular culture is the idea of the Illuminati, all right? Everybody thinks they know what the Illuminati is. Somehow it's this group of very rich, powerful people who rule the world, right? Well, can you demonstrate that that exists? Well, no. Why would you be able to? Okay, if there are people who are that powerful enough that you would assume that they could manage to keep themselves secret. All right, that, that's one of the first things I find kind of suspicious about the theory is that because if you're actually describing individuals who have that kind of discretionary power, they ought to be better at maintaining invisibility. But the thing it does is that if you suppose even that there are a group of evil conspirators controlling things, somebody's controlling it. See, you have put someone in control because there has to be somebody in control. And therefore, if they're in control and you can dethrone them, you can somehow wrest control. But it's all based on this idea that there's that you can control things. So if I'm not in control of it, then somehow the Illuminati or the Freemasons or somebody is in control of it in some way. Whereas the reality may be that nobody is in control of it.